Howdy doody everybody, my name is Kev Gooey and welcome back to Sakura Swim Club. In the last episode, we walked in on Hiromi changing because we needed to use the bathroom very badly, apparently. And we just decided to open every single door that's closed. Well, anyways, I have no idea where we are right now. Oh, here we go. We're back in the pool. Two failed study sessions later, things are awkward between us today. Well, I mean, we did walk in on uh, Hiromi changing. The two of them pulled themselves out of the pool, water streaming from their hair. Ooh. Neither of them dare whisper a word of the ill-fated study sessions. Huh. Is it because he liked it? Hmm. That'll be all for today. You're doing better, Keita. Yep, you'll be even better by next practice. Thank you both. For everything. Swimming and the view. And the study sessions. Hiromi looks over at Miko, who looks back. It's like some secret signal that I'm not aware of. I mean, they they know each other more, you know, than uh, you know them, Keita. We just wanted to know, Keita. Have you had any girlfriends before? Um, no, I don't think so. What kind of a question is that? Oh. But I don't think he has. No? Why? Ah, I was right. I mean, he did say before, I believe, that this was like his longest friendship he's had. So, usually, uh, girlfriends would require longer friendships. Why is that so? Aren't you interested? Of course I am. It's not that I'm not interested. I just don't think that I've met the right person yet. I know full well that nothing is what it seems with you. What is, what is that supposed to mean? If I were to take a guess, I bet she was so amazing that no one could compete with her. Wait, what? Are you, are you accusing me of having a girlfriend? Who was so amazing? She, the girl in your life, whoever she was. What, what the? So, so it, it seems that Miko is just accusing me of everything. Don't you dare try to play dumb with me, stupid. What, why would I need to play dumb if I'm stupid as you say? Huh. Wouldn't that mean I wouldn't have to play at all? No, you're not going to do that this time. I know your nasty little tricks, Keita. What, what nasty trick? You aren't going to get me to argue about something irrelevant this time. Her eyes gleam with fiery determination. She's intent on finding the truth. Which isn't there. Or rather, her own self-serving version of the truth. Yep, that's uh, Nico for you. Which wouldn't be the truth at all. What are my nasty little tricks, as you put it? I already told you, you tried to misdirect. Oh, no. Don't think I don't see what you're doing. A smug smile forms on her face. I'm on to you this time, no escape. What? No escape from what? Spill the beans, tell us everything. And don't leave out a single little detail. I... I, I just told you. I don't have any beans to spill. They're expensive. And delicious. There's no way that you don't. I have to agree with Miko on this. You have to be lying. Why, why do I have to be lying? How so? Because I refuse to believe that no one's ever had a crush on you. Well, I mean... I mean, I can believe that people have crushes on me, but never really tell me or that you haven't ever had a girlfriend 
she has a cold, analytical edge at times. Though, that edge tends to make her overanalyze certain things. I don't understand how this is so unbelievable. Yeah. Am I that good looking? I don't know, I haven't looked in the mirror myself. It just is. Isn't it something that every boy gets involved in? No. So why not you? Exactly what Hiromi said. We've got you cornered now, Keita. It's rare to see them working together like this. Hmm. Why do they want to know if I... Do you have a girlfriend anyways? Or I did. They're really intent on trying to find dirt which isn't there. Yeah. Try outside. I still don't understand why you're so interested in this. We have our reasons. What, what, what kind of reasons? We need to know what we're up against. What? Does that mean you two like me? Up against? You, you know, for reasons. Oh. Now they've completely given up on explaining their reasoning. What? They kind of just told you there, Keita. Look, really, I'm telling the truth. I've never had a girlfriend, ever. I don't know anyone who has ever had a crush on me. That's told me. It's just something that I never got around to. Would... Would you ever consider finding a girlfriend before you leave high school? What kind of... Hmm... Are you saying you want to be my girlfriend, Hiromi? To be honest with you, I haven't even thought about the future at all. Let alone if there's a girlfriend in it. Huh. Cause Kata's living the moment. Well, why would you put any thought into your future? That really is stupid. Oh, did, did she mean why wouldn't you? And she was like, why would you put any thought into your future? That's stupid. It's like, uh, what? <laughs> she has a point. You're going to be out of high school soon. I will? I would say that it would be a good idea to start thinking about it, Kayla. Especially if there's a girlfriend in it. I... How do I put it? What I really want to say is that I don't want to face the future. Because <gasps> he's afraid. Because of all the expectations the parents are putting on him. I don't want to think about what is waiting for me. I just haven't given it much thought, that's all. I'll try to do better next time. No, no trying. You do it. You need to start thinking about it right now. If you don't know where you're going, then you'll just wander around in a circle. Oh. You want to be my girlfriend then, Miko? Then end up achieving nothing. She is right, you know. It would be a good idea for you to start thinking about where you're going to go in life. Hmm, yes, that is really important. You know what you want to do before going to the collage. And who you're going to spend your future with. Who I'm going to spend my future with. Probably myself. Hiromi looks at me with a slight twitch in her eye. Hmm, I don't think these are the answers that they're looking for. Probably yourself? I don't think there is a probably with that. Sometimes you really do say the most stupid things. Miko's just shaking her head furiously. Anyway, are you telling the truth? Have you really had no girlfriend at all? That's what I've been trying to tell you the whole time. No, not for my whole life. I barely had any friends, let alone a girlfriend. See? I was right about that. I always move away from somewhere, even if I do make friends. Uh... Oh... I see. S sorry Kata. I had forgotten about that. Don't worry about it. Why do you always shrug that off? I know for a fact that it really bothers you, yet you act like it doesn't mean anything. Can we stop talking about this, please? Hmm... As you wish. 
Why not talk about what bothers you? That, that's like the same thing as why not talk with Hiromi what bothers her. Unless you start letting all that bad stuff out, it's going to poison you. Miko begins stomping her foot. I don't get you at all. That makes two of us. I'm just me. Anyway, we found out that you haven't had a girlfriend before. That took forever for you to finally realize that. Miko seems determined to stay though. But we haven't figured out the truth yet. You know that he's lying about it. Why would I be lying about it? Hmm. Be 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 because someone like you couldn't possibly have been alone your whole your whole life. Someone like me? What do you mean by that? N n nothing. I said nothing. You can't prove that I did. What? But I heard it with my own ears just three seconds ago. You can prove nothing. She shouts that loud enough for the entire school to hear. Hiromi seems to quickly defuse the situation though. We need to get going. F fine. The two of them quickly take off. It's just as well, swimming practice is over anyway. Time to head home. Uh... Uh... Okay. So, I've never had a girlfriend and they think I'm lying about it? Interesting. Well, anyways. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you guys did, then please slime the like button and help support me by sharing this video and by subscribing down below. Thank you everybody for watching this episode and you will hear me in the next one. Goodbye!